Hi everybody, it's Rob. Okay, so now we've got down to actually choosing niche ideas. Okay, I'm going to start with Amazon um, and then use it to go over all of these ideas that are inside of there. So I'll occasionally refer back to this. Um, I also need to tell you as I go along that Amazon is likely to get you good ideas for drop shipping, for manufacturing things, um, for affiliate marketing. It's really cool for a lot of things. Uh, you can blog and make money from Amazon. Um, but sometimes your Amazon products, let's say if you're in the travel niche, uh, you want to be a travel blogger. Amazon's not perfect for that, but it's pretty cool that you can add other things related to travel into that and make comms from Amazon too and not keep all your eggs in one basket. Okay, I'm going to pause this and go and open Amazon and so you'll see me again inside of Amazon. I'll be back one second. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I'm inside my own Amazon. As you can see, that it wants to take me to my earnings and all sorts of things. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm also amused as it shows stuff that I've looked at, um, what I did yesterday. And in fact, if you look up here, I've got CanadaGooseSupply.com. I was busy loading a page that wasn't loading. I'm going to use this layout. Um, all good. Point is that it showed up yesterday. Incidentally, this is a fake Canada Goose product, which was a little nasty to find out. That's completely ruined my, my ideas I had. It'll be another video. Okay. So... There's all sorts of things that are interesting about Amazon. It shows up similar things that I've looked at. It shows my browsing history, which will be down here. Boston Terriers all the time, quite amusing. And Canada Goose was very recently yesterday. Okay, so here's what you've got to do when it comes to niche or niche research, right? Uh, start with your lists, obviously. So let's go back to here. You, your lists might have said... Uh, expensive hobbies so you're welcome to go there first right and put that in but if i were you i would just go surfing around in here for hours getting a, a hang of what's going on so if you just hit all departments and you literally obviously ignore let's go for example if in my list i don't have anything to do with girls fashion I'm never ever going to go there. I, I'm, I'm, in fact, any kind of fashion, I'm the worst person for advice on that because um, I, I think jeans and a t-shirt work. But uh, I was a kitchen designer for years, so I could go into home and kitchen and have a look and find out that, well, there's lots, pet supplies. So you would use your list that you'd start with and go from there. Let's do arts and crafts for me. Uh, I'm going to hit search. But incidentally, if you go back under here, under Arts and Crafts, there's even more. So what you're going to be doing now is looking to see what exists, what comes up as a bestseller. There's over 50,000 results for Arts and Crafts, and Art Oil Pastels are top place at $5. Am I likely to make money with that? No. Even if I printed and made those things, am I likely to make money? No. So let's go down here. And look for things that might work for me. Incidentally, again, now you see this is where your list, your research must work, is maybe you make jewelry. So then you'd go by category and you'd go into beading and jewelry making, right? So now I'm in here and under beading and jewelry, there's beading supplies, beads. Support. So now it starts to become different. Perhaps I've got years and years of jewelry making. I want to teach people how to make jewelry uh, and do it. All, all my videos and my, my blog is free, but I'm constantly telling them that this kit works or this jewelry pattern works. So here's a jewelry kit. There's a thing and a whatever a Kado 3 style is. Um, this this works this doesn't work it's reviews so now you're doing almost pure affiliate marketing and you're driving the traffic through what might be and you don't know it yet uh, it, it'll be further down on on this training by the way it says keyword research 
So somewhere down the line, once you've checked out like, whoa, I love this jewelry making idea, you make it a new list. And so you're going to do a blog on jewelry making. Yeah, lovely. And then somewhere down the line, you will take this. Let's do jewelry making kits. Do you think it can copy that? No, it can't. Yeah, it can copy. Yeah. Sorry, I really am looking for shortcuts in life. Uh, I'll do that. Search Google for jewelry making kits. Let's have a look. So I would then... 12,000 people a month. Nah, it's okay. Jewelry making supplies, 22,000. Ring making kit. Yeah, okay, done. I can tell you now from my experience that a jewelry manufacturing blog full of ideas and tips and how to do it for for Halloween and, and, and Christmas and gifts for him, gifts for her. It will never stop. Uh, and all the time you're referring these tools. And by the way, not just these tools. Now you're going to go to the cool stuff where you really do make money. So uh, let's go back to Afts and Crafts. Will it go back if I click that button? I want the machinery. Uh, so you'd have to again do your, your research. So let's call it um, 3D printers. By the way, check that out. 600,000 people a month looking it up. How cool is that? Other keywords tape there we go so now you look into these and you work out should you incorporate that into it you want to use a promote dremel or saws or wood saws or uh, yeah so you would use all of this to go and work your way through this list let's choose another one completely uh, mommy so now you want to do the mommy market which really means children market by the way Mommy bloggers are people that don't want to go back to work after they've had children. They find other groups of people call themselves mommy bloggers. But in reality, they are um, bloggers. They are affiliate marketers. They are content marketers. And mommy blogging is just the word they learned to, to let themselves into the system. And having said that, it's not derogatory in any way. I shouldn't be mocking it a little bit like I'm doing now because... Um, perhaps one of the best, best teachers I've ever met online teaching people how to make money online is one of the biggest mommy blogger promoters. Okay, so let's get out of all of that. So now you go back into here and you think up baby, let's think of something else. So let's type baby and see what comes in. Baby clothes, baby. I don't know if this is going to bounce me back to all departments. I think it's kept me into arts and crafts. So I'd have to go back up to any department. Just whacking it in baby baby products, baby clothes, toys, baby musical toys. I don't have to tell you this is going to be so huge that you can be lost down the rabbit hole of baby stuff. Like forever. Now, just a point on this. This is also really really cool place to look for if you're going to be serious about doing research for fba which is fulfillment by amazon so if you plan to start sewing these and not just like this you custom sew them that it says uh, linda's the coolest child i love my linda i don't know you know whatever my bad for doing it or putting a printed image on here and you sew these up so it's a standard thing that you get and maybe you just sew a panel onto here, whatever it is. Um, I love that it thinks I'm in South Africa. Here I am talking to you from Canada. Technology is not so clever, is it, sometimes? Anyway, so you would compare. Let me go back here. The... 20 popular ways to make money online you're going to have that in your head so you're going to be thinking i want to make software uh what was it called software as a service for moms i have no clue how you do that that's interesting so let's say the software as a service will be teaching moms um i've got no idea and organizational skills to do with their to do with the development of their child so they pay for that software it's only five dollars a month and they enter their child's weight and age and as they develop they enter it and so your software 
tells you that eh, it's time to start teaching that kid to do geometry because they, they're really kind of bright on that. So I've got no idea. There's a fair chance that moms will pay for that software, by the way. Moms pay for an amazing amount of stuff that horrifies me. Um, and that's all cool. Uh, now let's pick something that, that makes it hard. Nursery blankets. Okay. So, yeah. Are you going to make money promoting nursery blankets? I don't. I doubt it. They're, your commission will be 50 cents. You'd have to sell a hell of a lot of nursery blankets. So you need to pay attention to those kind of things when you're choosing your niche. Remember, when you sign up here, I don't sign up yet, but to read about the Amazon affiliate program somewhere in here. My bad. I can't seem to find it that easily. Maybe down here. Yeah. So go and look at the Amazon affiliate program. Check out how much they pay for each thing. Some things they pay a nasty low amount of money like literally 3%, and others they'll pay you 9%. So if you know that, you might want to cant your research or tilt it in that direction. So like, yay, 9%, whoa, four, let me say where they won't, you won't make your money. It's probably on um, phone accessories. You won't make money on laptop, uh, a lot of the digital stuff. But maybe your money, let's try any department, let me try and see if I can find one that'll be a high commission. So, wow, I really don't want to do babies. How do I go back to all all departments? Will that take me there? I don't think anything's happening. Okay, so fine. Let's go to automotive. You might find... I really want to go to automotive, huh? <sighs> Funny. Asking it to happen and waiting for it to happen seems to be two different things. So now in here... I would go to tools and equipment and you might find that your commissions on here uh, is, is much, much higher. And in fact, you don't even mess around. You go towards a, a thing that's really, really busy, busy, busy. Again, your keyword research is going to do this here. Windshield wiper tools. No, 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 don't go there. Um, but yeah, maybe uh, garage and shop. Yeah. So, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really a mode enthusiast. I drive them. So, yeah, I, I don't want to get commissions on $17 items. So, can you see, you'd have to keep doing your research up and down the sides here. Uh, make notes. Work out that that looks cool. That looks bad. Wow, I didn't know these things are here. We go. Got it. There we go. Thank you. Now we're getting into the territory that I think could be worthwhile because... These start to go up and up, but actually I'm looking for those huge machiney things, hydro gassy, hydraulic -y things, which they might not even be here. So if I've got that idea, let's try this. Uh, incidentally, uh, when it comes to keywords, I'm going to teach you how to do this. There's the thing I'm looking for. Can you see? Babco, whoever they are, it's probably a South African product based on what it thinks I'm where I think I'm at. Maybe not. It's showing Canada results here. Four thousand dollars. Thank you very much. I'll bet you my com on that is pretty cool. In fact, watch this. Let's go and check out Babco. I want to see if they pay me commission. So that's lovely. Dumpity, but up, but it two post lifts, uh, wheel service, other products, support about us, our policies. Our catalog, Meh. that's my word for it. You, you might want to, if you're serious about this, you really know a lot about this, get hold of them and say, do you have an affiliate program? If not, take your this keyword and do with better spelling than I do it. It would come up great. Firstly, by the way, nobody looks for that ever. Uh, I want Atlas Automotive Equipment. They've got affiliate program. Can you see? So for now, let's just go there. But there is lots of stuff. And it turns out now that when I go down here, there should be... Huh. Okay, so it turns out you have to go back to the, the results, which I've killed.
and then click on the actual affiliate program link. But anyway, that's what you would do. That's how you would start to see where, where did we go? Oh, here. Yeah, Mary Glad affiliate program. So here's how you join it. Do you got have you got a blog? There's a bath lift. Uh, your commission eighty four dollars, sixty five dollars, one hundred and seventy four dollars. So now you've got a niche. If this is where you want to go, and you so your research is starting to pay you dividends. Um, this would, by the way, be under probably more under health. And watch out, I pre-warn you about the niche called your money or your life. Uh, let's go back to Amazon for the, for want of a better help here. Um, your money or your life, that means that if, you, if you're going to be telling people how to live their lives from a health point of view, you need to kind of make sure they believe you're an expert uh, and that you're not some guy who started to promote, um, yeah, bath lifts last week. So... Use Amazon to get a view of numbers. Um, just to give you an idea, by the way, if you go in here to anywhere, let's just pick any of these. Well, you, you can see here. Can you see there? 264 reviews, 56, 86, 79. Um, Amazon themselves, let's click on this, will tell you if you're in a, a, a niche that's going to be crappy or not. So... There's 131 ratings. Let's go back to there. Hey, there's a couple of nasty ones. And you need to find out why 16% of them think this is the biggest crap they've ever met in their lives. So you go to the answered questions and you look into this. Uh, <laughs> my jack is stuck in the upward position. Yeah. So there's my rockets. But anyway, so the point is that from this research through Amazon alone, you will be able to work your way through. I'm going to go back to this. You'll be able to work through a way through the list of things you've made that will look a bit like this and realize, wow, okay, whoa, those things are all nasty cheap. Um, we, this is my wife and I, we were often looking at manufacturing things. So it doesn't matter, quilts. So now you go into Amazon, you check out all the quilts, you realize, whoa, somebody out there is stupid fool is making them for so little. Um, but then equally, you'll find others that are doing it for a very high quality. In fact, let me try and find one that I know a price. A hammock chair. Right, so I didn't look at the number of searches. There's 3,000 results. Now, I can tell you from when I was in the business, this thing is nasty. That thing's not comfortable. Uh, in fact, the first, that's not even a chair. That's a hammock with stand, right? So let's look for a chair. This one, you know, it's, it's if you're a little person, and I'm talking little, you won't hit your head. A normal male is going to look like he's popping out of this thing in a terrible, terrible way. So you would have to go through this. You see here, they've put it, this is a good one, because they've got a fairly small person, but if you look, she's kind of had to fit in there. It actually fits nicely. So large is good. You can see the proof. There's 798 reviews. It's good. I don't live in South Africa anymore. Bad luck to me. And it's only, it's a very good price, 600 Rand. Uh, sorry, $49. That's about 900 Rands in South Africa. Sorry, I do still think they're in price. So can you see, uh, you have to be very careful. This is similar to the ones I used to make, but mine were double the thickness, double the strength. They weren't uh, dull sticks up here. So bit by bit, you'd work your way through your research until you realize, wow, well, okay, I don't want to do this. Or I want to manufacture these. Check this out. I can beat that. Like this, really sitting on a laptop. That whole thing's going to be wobbly and shaky. Chances of it breaking your neck is fairly high. Sorry, now I'm really, really getting off the subject. I wish the ones I made were in here that I could show you. Anyway, so 20 minutes, it's enough. Use Amazon, correlate it through your list, lists, make notes, and know that Amazon is related to physical shopping type products. 
Okay, I'm out of here. I'll get you on the next one. Cheers.